Once your Ameriwater High Purity Water System for Central Sterile Services is properly connected, it's time to begin the startup process. To begin operation, turn on the tap water supply. Check the pressure gauge on the front of the RO to verify you have water pressure. Turn the flush valve on the RO to the flush position. Push the green power keypad on the RO control panel to start the unit. Continue to flush for 10 to 15 minutes. Note that the alarm may sound because of initial high conductivity. This is normal at this point. You can silence the alarm by pressing the red button below the yellow triangle. After the flushing is complete, turn the flush valve to the operation position. The conductivity level should drop and the flow meter for product water should increase. The pump pressure should be above 130 pounds per square inch. The pre-filter gauge and post-filter gauge should show a differential pressure of less than 15 psi. Remove a chlorine strip from the container. Wet the sample strip from the chlorine sample port. Compare the color test results on the side of the container. The chlorine level should be zero. If the chlorine level is not satisfactory, the chlorine filters should be replaced. Remove a water hardness test strip from the container. Wet the sample test strip from the product water sample port. Compare the color test results on the side of the container. The hardness level should be one or less. If the hardness level is not satisfactory, contact Amerwater. Next, we need to verify the anti-scaling pump is primed and operating properly. The pump is normally set for five pulses per minute. Push the down arrow until the feed pump starts pulsing quickly. Now turn the air vent counterclockwise and remove the vent tube and the cap on the jug. Anti-scalant should be pumping from the tube. Close the air vent clockwise. Return the feed pump pulse rate to 5 and reinstall the tube and cap. Vent the deionizer by opening the vents until the columns are full. After the deionizer is full, water should begin filling the storage tank. It's now time to close the vents on the deionizer. When the storage tank is half full, it's time to prime the distribution pump. The distribution pump is located at the base of the storage tank. Remove the priming plug from the top of the pump. Slowly open the feed valve to the pump. After the pump chamber has filled with water, turn off the valve and replace the plug. Verify the inlet valve is open to the pump. Then push the pump's on-off keypad. The pump should start pumping. When the system does not require water, the pump will automatically stop. This usually takes 10 to 15 seconds. An emergency bypass hose is provided in the rare event the system stops and you need to keep water flowing to your machines. The hose connects to the RO feed supply garden hose fitting and to the pump outlet quick connect, temporarily supplying tap water to your equipment. You'll find more information on every facet of installation, startup, and maintenance in the handy instruction booklet stored inside the door of your RO unit. With regular, simple maintenance, your Amerawater system will reliably deliver high purity water at your medical facility for many years to come. Thank you for choosing Amerawater.